Whether you're trying to get gigs, sign records, or build a following, you can probably get there. But how long will it take? Will it take months, years, decades? The factor that will determine the speed is persistence. You're probably not being persistent enough. You need to activate your mechanism of persistence. And I'm gonna show you a completely different way of looking at all of this and how to have that persistence activation. I'm able to look at my 800 students. They go through the same program. They all get the same level of treatment, the same great service. However, some of my students are playing EDC in a year or two. Others take five to 10 years. Some sign to their favorite label in a year. Others take much longer. There's plenty of factors, but by far the most important one is persistence. If you only make one song a year, you're probably not going to be playing EDC. If you only pitch one label, you're probably not gonna be getting on spin or defected. My students know that I love the gym analogy, so we're gonna do a gym analogy. Here's a great way to think about this. Losing weight is actually some simple math. 3,500 calories burned is one pound or roughly about a half a kilo. So if you burn 3,500 calories in a week, which is 500 calories each day, you will lose one pound that week. But you can also go slower and burn 50 calories a day. You will still lose that pound, but it's going to take you exactly 10 times longer than the other person. It's kind of the same with your music. So let's break this down into three main areas of your career. Signing records and putting out music, getting gigs and shows, and growing your fan base. So the first one, persistence with signing records. Stay with me for a second. One, in order to sign a lot of records, you two have to pitch a lot of records, you know, because labels don't just take each song you send them. And in order to pitch a lot of records, you three need to make a lot of music. So I'm gonna say this as directly as I can. The amount of music that you currently finish is probably not enough, which means you're not pitching enough music. And that's one of the reasons you're not getting the signed records you want. So you need to add persistence, to the amount of music that you finish. Now, right now, if you finish one song a month, that's 12 songs a year. If you could finish a song every week though, that's 52 songs a year. You will get to your goals over four times quicker. And what's incredible about this is you constantly learn as you go. We call this learning as a byproduct of doing. Learning as a byproduct of doing. So you will continue to get better as you finish more music. It's a side benefit of this persistence way of doing things. When you're pitching the labels, it's the exact same concept. You can't just pitch one label. You have to play the persistence game. If your average rejection rate is nine out of 10, you get rejected nine out of 10 times and only one out of 10 takes it. Well, if you're only pitching one label, then most likely your song is not getting signed. But if you pitch at least 10 to 20 labels, there's a decent chance you might get one or two to sign that record. And you need to start thinking about things like this. You know, my students, they sign with Defected and Nightbase and Monster Cat and Juna. They're pitching a hundred records a year to dozens of labels. You just don't see it. You don't see that they're finishing a hundred songs in order to pitch a lot of songs that'll get rejected just to get 10 signings. It's like, did they make 10 songs that got 10 signings? No, but that's the level of persistence. Obviously the music matters. Obviously the brand matters. All this other stuff obviously is a huge factor. And we have tons of videos on that stuff as well, but you can also apply to our academy. We have an incredible personalized development program. Last year alone, our program was responsible for our student signing for 300 records. They also played the biggest festivals in the world last year, Ultra, Tomorrowland, EDC. So I'll leave a link below to apply. Let's talk about persistence when it comes to getting shows and gaining fans. So getting shows and gigs with persistence. I come from the world of throwing concerts. Now I've probably done over 2000 shows in my life and plenty of times some new DJ or performer will come up to me and hand me a USB stick. I'm kind of old, so maybe I lied there. They're more so bringing me like a burn CD or cassette tape. Now, if I never saw that person again, I'm probably not gonna listen and I'm not gonna book them. But if that same person, that same kid showed up every week and reminded me over and over again and would shoot me an email and would leave me a note at the venue, I'd give that kid a chance. 
I think in this space, a lot of you are concerned that you might come off spammy or annoying, but I promise from my side of things, it's the exact opposite. We want to book the artist that puts in the extra effort because that artist is going to hustle harder. You know, when it's time for the show to happen, they're going to be putting in more effort. They're going to be putting in more hours and they proved it to me with their initial persistence. You know, if I don't see the persistence now, I'm not going to see it when I book you. Now you might be asking yourself, but Justin, I don't know what to say. I don't want to come off weird. So here's some good stuff to say, stuff that I've said in the past to get venues to do things. When you're following up with someone, maybe you pitch them something, say something like this. Hey, I just wanted to check back in. If you give me a chance, I know you'll be happy. Here's another one. Hey, I can guarantee I'm going to do a great job for you. Give me one shot to prove it. Or how about this? Hey, I'm going to do everything in my power the marketing, the promoting, all the hustle. I'm going to spend all my time making this work. Sometimes you can even offer to do it for free to prove yourself. Hey, give me a chance. I don't even want the money the first time. I'm so confident I can do this show that after one time, you're going to want to keep booking me. And another thing to remember with this persistence stuff, these people, they're just human beings. Wish them a happy birthday. Wish them a happy holiday. Send them a handwritten note. Buy them their favorite bottle of wine for Thanksgiving. All this stuff, all this persistence is what's going to separate you from the crowd. Okay, now how do we activate the persistence with your fan base? It's similar to signing records. We can break it down to one thing. In order to get more fans, you need more people to see you. In order to get more people to see you, you need to be putting out more content. I'll use us, Cosmic Academy, as an example. We have over 200,000 followers on Instagram. We have over 30,000 on TikTok. We're about at 20,000 on YouTube as of this point in recording this video. But on YouTube, we really only got going about 18 months ago. But we learned through Instagram and the other platforms how to get more fans. We needed to increase the persistence of the content. And that also gave us the side benefit that I mentioned before. We learned as a byproduct of doing. So check this out. In the first year of YouTube, we gained about 10,000 subscribers. But we've just gone from 10,000 to 20,000 in just a few months. How? We increased the frequency and we applied what we've been learning. You know, going all the way back to the beginning, it's like this. If one post or one video, one reel gets you one fan and you only make one a year, you're never going to get to 10,000. But if you make one a week and each time you do it, you learn a little bit more, then maybe you start getting two fans per video and then four fans per video. And then it doubles and triples because the learning is a byproduct of the doing. Now, for almost every YouTube that we make, we will get dozens of subscribers and sometimes even a few hundred. By the way, now is the perfect time to say, if you don't follow us, if you don't currently subscribe, we hope that you do. It really helps out the channel. We really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe. Thank you. And this is kind of where sometimes people get worried. Oh, this persistence sounds cool, Justin, but maybe it's too much. Maybe I'm going to be posting too much. Probably not. Like what you think of as posting too much is probably not even close. Go look at Diplo. Diplo has posted over 7,000 times on Instagram. And 7,000 posts, you know, not stories, posts. You need to look at your music, like your content, all in a similar way. You have no idea what's going to be a hit. You know, you can't predict a hit in music. If you could, you'd do it every time. It's the exact same with social media. You can't predict a viral piece of content. You have no idea if this post or video is going to help you reach a thousand fans or a million fans. Like we recently did a video called The Dark Side of Making Music. I had no idea it was going to get 50,000 views and a thousand subscribers in 10 days, but it did. Is it because I'm just some genius at social media? No. I've just made a hundred YouTube videos this year and 4,000 Instagram posts and a thousand TikToks. It's all persistence. You're not annoying anyone. It's just your mindset that needs to change. And I know what you're thinking. Justin, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to put out there. Justin, I'm overthinking my content. I have an entire video on all of this stuff. So I'm going to put that up. Go watch that one next and I'll see you in there.